This is Matthew of Another World Terraria, where I teach and inspire you on the topics of rare plants and artistic nature displays. In this video, I'll show you the five tools I use the most for horticulture. I'll also explain what they're useful for and give some tips for each. Number one, tweezers. I use all sorts of tweezers on a daily basis and I have a wide variety of sizes and shapes. Very large and long, small and short, pointed, curved, rounded, square, etc. I like to buy kits that have multiple tweezers in them because I get more value for the price. There are also some good larger tweezers that come with aquascaping tool sets and the other tools are useful as well so it's a bonus. Some examples of things that tweezers are useful for are working with micro plants and moss and liverworts, poking holes in substrate for planting small plants, cuttings, etc., picking off old flowers, foliage, and debris, thinning moss when it's overgrowing terrariums or smothering micro plants, working in hard to reach areas in terrariums, and inserting fertilizer pellets below the surface of substrate. Some tips for tweezers are, the end of the handle is useful for tamping down moss, small plants, and substrate when working in terrariums. You should disinfect tweezers after using them on plants which haven't been through a quarantine, after working with plants which may have disease or pests, and after using them in areas with mold. You can put heat shrink tube on some parts to reduce the risk of scratching glass when working in terrariums, as well as to act as a bit of a cushion when working with micro plants. A magnetic toolbar is useful for storing them, although some won't stick to it. By the way, there's some links in the description for some of the items mentioned in this video in case you want to get any of these helpful tools for yourself. Number two, micro shears. My favorite micro shears are the Fiskars Soft Touch. I like them so much that I have two pairs. Some examples of things that micro shears are useful for are trimming small plants, cleaning plants such as removing old foliage, flowers, diseased portions, dead roots, and so on, taking cuttings, and snipping thread after attaching plants to epiphytic mounts. Some tips for micro shears are, you should disinfect shears after using them on plants which haven't been through a quarantine, after working with plants which may have disease or pests, and after using them in areas with mold. I'd recommend having at least two pairs of shears so you can use one while the other is being disinfected, and if you have plants in multiple rooms, it's nice to have a pair within close reach. Occasionally sharpen the blades with a high quality sharpener. A magnetic toolbar is a convenient and tidy way to store shears and other tools. Number three, water sprayers. I use two types of water sprayers. One, pump sprayers, and two, handheld misting bottles. Handheld misting bottles spray by pulling a pump action trigger. They're better for smaller jobs, such as moistening plants while working with them and misting small terrariums. Pump sprayers have a pump which builds up pressure in the reservoir, and then a trigger is used to release the water spray. They're better for bigger jobs, such as watering many plants, watering large terrariums, and watering areas that are hard to reach. I have two models of pump sprayers, both are Solo brand. Some examples of things that water sprayers are useful for are misting terrariums, misting and watering plants, watering things that are hard to reach, rinsing glass and bins, and spraying liquid fertilizers and chemicals. Some tips for water sprayers are, keep them away from bright light to prevent algae growth, release the pressure from pump sprayers if you won't be using them for a while to prolong the life of the device. You can print labels to specify what is contained in each sprayer, such as the type and strength of a fertilizer. Some handheld misters have colored heads or bottles which can be used to color code. For example, blue could indicate fertilizer and green could indicate pure water. By the way, I'm curious what your most used tool is for horticulture. Let everyone know in the comments. Number four, magnifiers. I have multiple different types of magnifiers in different powers. Two are from an old photography slide loop which I pulled apart, resulting in a strong and a weak magnification lens. One is a fold-out set with three lenses that can be stacked for increased magnification, and one is a headband style magnifier with an LED and flip-down lenses. This is convenient for work that requires both hands to be free. Some examples of things that magnifiers are useful for are examining plants for pests and disease, examining plants for identification characteristics, getting close-up views of bugs, microfauna, and other things, 
and getting a closer look at microplants and tiny moss and liverworts, both for enjoyment and also when working with them. Some tips for magnifiers are, work in well-lit areas for a much clearer and sharper view of the subject. In cases where the subject cannot be moved, you can use a portable LED lamp or headlamp for better illumination. Use a microfiber cloth for cleaning the lenses, and get a variety of different magnifications so you can find the right one for the task at hand. Number five, wash bottles. These are one of the most underrated tools that few people know about. Some examples of things that wash bottles are useful for are watering tiny and small plants, especially ones that need to be watered at the roots without getting the foliage wet, watering through ventilation holes in deli containers, which saves time, washing containers, such as the inside of bins and terrarium glass, washing plants to get dirt and debris off the foliage, which is especially useful for textured leaves and sticky carnivorous plant leaves, both of which tend to hold on to debris. Wash bottles can also be used for dispensing chemicals, such as isopropyl alcohol, fertilizers, and so on. Some tips for wash bottles are, print labels to specify what's in each bottle, such as pure water or a fertilizer type and strength. Keep the bottles away from bright light, especially ones with fertilizer, to reduce algae growth. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with others. If you'd like more videos like this one, join Team Terraria by hitting the subscribe button and then click the bell so you're more likely to see my new uploads.